Hello friends, welcome back to online math. So we have this uh, equation right here to solve. And so we're going to be looking for the value of x that will satisfy this simple looking equation. Okay, and of course it is tricky, uh, but we're just going to be diving into it. But just before we proceed, if you're new to our channel, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and also turn on the notification icon so that if we release new content, you will actually get to know about it. Okay, and then of course, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Hit the like button even as we proceed. Okay, so whenever you have this kind of equation, and then of course, most times when uh, you are having the variable at the exponent, one of the most natural thing to do will always be for you to take the natural log of both sides so that it, the exponent can actually come down and then of course you can continue simplifying from there. So that is actually going to be the first step I will take. Okay, so if I do that, I'm going to be having the natural log of 1 power x is equal to the natural log of 3. Okay, so let me put this in bracket and then of course I can actually bring down this x so that I have that this is x multiplied by the natural log of 1 is equal to the natural log of 3. Okay, and of course you will not actually go far for you to see that there is a problem because the natural log, log of 1 here is 0. And so when you have 0 multiplied by x, it actually going to give you 0 and then of course a natural log of 3 is not equal to 0 so which shows that we cannot find a real solution to this equation we are sorry so it is not uh, difficult for you to see that because if you pick up the real values of x and put right here there is none of them that is actually going to satisfy this okay so but how are we going to be solving this all we just need to do is to find a way to extend our solution to complex number and that is when we can actually be able to find a solution to this equation so how do we do that you just need to remember this as a polar exponential equation that is exponential i theta which is defined as cos theta plus i sine theta if we substitute theta equal to zero so picking that we're going to be having exponential i times zero which is exponential zero it's not going to be giving us this is cos uh, cos zero plus i sine zero okay so this is zero and of course this is one is, is equal to zero zero times i is zero and cos zero is equal to one we can also consider uh, another one let's say theta equal to two pi so if we put that right there what we're going to be having is uh, exponential i two pi okay it's now equal to cos 2 pi plus i sine 2 pi okay and then of course it's uh, it, this sine 2 pi is also equal to zero zero times i gives you the same thing okay and of course cos 2 pi is equal to one so obviously you can see that exponential i 2 pi we still give you equal to one of course you can actually continue to pick all of these values but then you will notice that whenever you have this exponential equation that exponential so i to k pi is actually going to be giving you equal to one that is for all integer values of k okay so this is just pretty much cool when of course if our theta changes to two uh, k pi where k is just an element of integers this exponential equation this polar exponential equation will always give you equal to one so in order for us to solve the problem we want to solve we're just going to be making this substitution and of course in place of one we're going to be replacing uh we're going to be writing exponential i to k pi okay so that tells us that the equation we are now solving is one uh, exponential x equal to three now changes to exponential i to uh, k pi okay and then of course power x is now equal to three okay so we can then proceed to solve from here we can actually use this x to multiply the stuff we have right here and if we do that we're going to be having exponential i to k pi x is equal to 3 okay 
So like we've always done, we're going to be taking the natural log of both sides so that we can bring all of this stuff down here. Okay, so we have natural log, log of exponential i to k pi x. Okay, and of course it's equal to natural log of 3. Okay, okay so it's rising the property of logarithm. I'm going to bring all of this down so that I have that this will give me i to k pi x natural log of e is equal to a natural log of 3 and obviously natural log of e is equal to 1 so 1 times this stuff right here i'm left with i 2 k pi x is now equal to a natural log of 3 okay and of course because we are looking for this x right here, we're just going to go ahead to divide through by the coefficient of s which is just i 2 2 k pi okay i 2k pi so this is actually going to cancel these ones and then we are left with x equal to the natural log of 3 divided by i 2k pi okay so this is cool the next thing we want to do is actually to go ahead and then uh, simplify this for that so that we, uh, this i right here comes to the numerator and uh, it is just as simple as multiplying both the numerator and then the, the denominator by i so that when we do that uh, this i times i here gives us minus one so i'm going to be having the minus comes in numerator and of course i times natural log of three give us i natural log of three divided by so we now have a two k pi at the denominator and this is actually going to be the value of s that will satisfy the problem we are solving let me know if you've enjoyed this video that is a cool way for you to actually simplify similar problems and then of course uh, if you have any question do drop it in the comment box and i will surely look at that so thank you guys so much for watching ensure you like this video subscribe to our channel and then i want to see you guys in my next video bye